Yes, I'm pulling a panda and I'm rearranging for the summer of 2022. So yeah, at the time of recording this video, it is May 26, 2022. The market is definitely down. LHR Unlock has fully come out for 100%, except for a few cars are still 90%, the uh, LHR V3s. Um, the prices on cards, on new cards, is almost at MSRP most of the time. The used market is still sucks. They're still trying to scalp used cards. That'll probably change in the next few months. So, in the meantime, with all this uncertainty going on, a lot of people are wondering if they need to turn off their rigs or sell cards or whatever. I am going to take this a different way. I decided to expand. Now, granted, I originally had that server rack in here with my OctoMiner cases, and I loved it. It worked great. But instead of worrying about the future what's going to happen i decided to expand this is like the perfect time to get ready for it so without further ado let me turn the camera around and show you how the room is now yeah still got the desk off to the side here for when i can do builds i got the extra lighting for it the server rack used to sit right here now i have one of these uh heavy duty style uh shelving racks that chump change has Rondi has even red panda he literally just bought go figure a red one <laughs> but uh no i decided to go for myself and what we're going to do here is i already got my three octominers down below here and there's room enough here for 10. so i'm probably going to have at least two more for myself the other five i'm going to do for hosting for yeti and that's partially why i want to do this expansion Second shelf, I have this right here. This was given to me by Rondi. It's an empty old style server case. This was actually his very first style server case. So we will be doing a build with this next month, maybe like a five or six card uh, NVIDIA rig build. And we're gonna see what we can do with this still. Then I upgraded the network switch from a HP Procurve 24 port to a 48 port just in anticipation of all the extra networking I might need with a little bit of hosting. Then I got my regular desktop here, which again, Rondi sourced this for me. Thank you so much, Rondi. This is actually a thin client built into the back of a monitor. It's all one unit, but you can still remove the thin client and it works perfectly just for general Hive OS duties and regular mining. And then on the top, I got my two ASICs. I got the L3 Plus that I got from D Myers that has three out of four good hashing boards. That's still running beautifully. And I got my mini doge. They're up here. Plus, I got the power supply for my CPU miners. And I decided just for the time being, just to hang them. So I literally have one, two, three, four underneath there. And then five, which is a full ATX motherboard. But they're all AMD Ryzen, either 3900X or I think there's one 3950X in here, or maybe two. No, there's two 3950Xs. The rest of them are 3900Xs. The sixth board went into my wife's computer for gaming. Don't worry, it's still mine when she's not gaming. And I even have down here two NVIDIA Shields because I recently updated the um, smart little boxes that go in the TVs to uh, Roku 4K Expresses. And these are mining right now um, Snowflake coin, CPU mining. About one and a half kilohash each on turtle coin. It's basically a fork of turtle coin. So it's whatever algorithm they use, the Chukwa coin or whatever, Chukwa algorithm. That's what it's using. Uh, extra screen here also that I can plug into any Octo miners or any of the CPU miners that I need to for troubleshooting, extra keyboard, and its associated USB dongle. If we go around to the back, I still have my original storage here. One of these days, I do need to take all these boxes and actually build myself a little box wall for like my studio area. One of these days, I will do that. But now I have my original PDU that I had still working perfectly fine. I love my Raritan PDUs, especially with these displays on them. Yeah. Um, I also have a dumb 120 volt PDU, which is basically just running right now. My extra screen, the computer here, 
and my two uh, NVIDIA shields. Now, I also got a nice new red one, well, new to me, and this is gonna be Yeti's PDU, and I ran a second line just for him, and this one, the only thing, it's very hard to find these right now used, the Raritan PDUs. I couldn't find a three-phase, because I was gonna run a three-phase, and I finally found this single phase. The only thing that sucks about this one, they're not switched outlets. I can still monitor the wattage from every single outlet, but like mine over here, you can see there are little red and orange lights here. I can literally turn on and off every outlet, which is a nice little feature. It's not a deal breaker. I would have loved to have that on this PDU, but it still works perfectly fine. So I do have it partially cable managed right now. Most of the mess is networking cables. I'm kind of wondering if I should go out and go buy a 250 foot spool of either Cat 5E or Cat 6 and make my own custom length cables. Uh, 5E should be perfectly fine for what I'm doing here. You don't need a lot of bandwidth and we're also not going very far from the switch. So I might keep it on the cheap side just to clean this up. I might do that in the near future. I think I have everything pretty much set up the way I want to. So once again, I'm all set up here now for Yeti to have like up to five Octominers. He's literally like me right now, just waiting to see what the market does, waiting for those good buys, and then we're gonna keep on expanding. And for the summer, I might be getting two extra Octominers from another um, crypto miner that's on Misfit Mining. For the summer, I'm gonna host him for him because it gets too hot in his location at his house. So I might be able to help him with that and host him for the summer. I also moved the fan up further and opened up. There was actually a second board sitting up here before kind of blocking the airflow. So now I got unimpeded airflow for the exhaust out. And I did the same for the intake right over here. Now this is fully uh, open. And even with the door open, because I still have the door open here, I can still feel the air coming in from down here. It'll be even more once I close the door. And if it gets a little too warm in here with the extra um, Octominers that will be eventually in here, I can literally turn this sideways and I can put a second one. I have enough room to put a second one of those fans out there. That will give me a total of like eight to 10,000 uh, CFMs going out. It'd be great. I love having a passive intake and an active exhaust. It works great because the, uh, the negative pressure in here literally sucks the cooler air in from the warehouse Cooler air goes on down, since cooler air sinks, goes through the octominers, keeps the cards cool, and then the hot air rises and goes through the exhaust fan. It's sort of like having a hot aisle, cold aisle, but without it being like really set in stone. And the one other thing I gotta figure out is where I'm gonna put all my stickers now. I don't think all of them will actually fit lengthwise right on this bar going across, although that would be nice. Uh, I might put a piece of plexiglass over here on the side or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out in, in the future. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please. Come say hi over to Mining Misfits Discord, and I will catch you on the next video.